getting wet. Well, uh, I don't know. I think I'd probably, um, you know, like it. <laughs> Where are we going? All right, guys. Welcome back to another episode of nine 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 excuse me so we went through that route it doesn't look like there wasn't anything i don't even think we had to do that i don't even think we had to go through that route tbh there was nothing in there that we really had to get but at the beginning of the game at the very beginning of the game there was a lock apparently in door five and i don't know if that comes into play after we get to get this uh next ending because there's three more endings we got to get in order to get the true ending right i don't think we need to get every single ending in the game but i do think we have to view the remaining endings is what we have to view to get the true ending so i think everything else we have to do in this game is mandatory if we want to see the true stuff so um I think from here on out, everything is going to uh, converge and the snakes are going to get lost again. And we got to go through the middle route. There might be some keys for us in the middle route, so we have oh. to do that. The keyhole with the Venus symbol. The Venus key should work. It sounds like it did. All right, let's get this thing open. No problem. Let me help with this one. It sounds as though you have opened it. We should be able to reach C deck now, I imagine. Snake, uh, are you going to be all right? I mean, the stairs. Please, do not do yourself the embarrassment of underestimating me. I would be unlikely to trip even if I were running backwards. Good to hear. Let's move. And everything looks okay here. We should check the next deck down. Just in case. Hold up. Oh, I just realized Snake could have actually went back. Snake could have literally backtracked. Seven left some of these doors open. So Snake technically could have just went backwards. And that's why he's not found in any of the forward areas. I just realized that. Just what I thought. D -deck so why would he is go backwards? Underwater. I'm confused by that. Just like the bottom of the central staircase. I'm just glad the water level hasn't changed much. Back to the sea deck then. Now, how about we check out what's here? There are two elevators over there, which means it's probably the same upstairs. There's a card reader between them and another weird mark. Let me guess, that's a uh, Pluto. Hey, uh, check it out. It's the symbol for Lotus. It's the symbol for Lotus. What? See, <laughs> it's got the woman symbol and then it's got the devil horns, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I see it. See, no Seven laughs it. at it. Seven laughs at his joke. <laughs> it was a pretty good one, kid. Oh, oh, would you watch it, man? Whoa, that hurts. You're going to break my neck. What are you talking about? The human body ain't that weak. Maybe this will toughen you up, huh? <laughs> if we were looking for a devil, we've got one right here. This is a Mercury symbol. The marks you mistook for horns Mercury. are a stylized version of the wings and staff of Hermes. The wing and staffs of Hermes. Mm, they look like horns to me, bro. Wings and a staff. Huh. So then, she beats you with the staff until you die and go to heaven. <laughs> Sounds like Lotus, all right. <laughs> See, seven's all right in my books. Seven? Oh, that's too much. Oh, my head. Oh, I think I'm going to puke. Unless we can activate this device, I doubt the elevator will function. In other words, we got to find a key card with a mercury symbol on it. So I would assume. Let's forget the elevators for right now. You made seven laugh too much. Game over. You died. How about that hallway to the left? Whoa, there's a bunch of doors. Ah, oh, shit. We're not gonna have enough time to check all these, are we? Maybe we can come back here later. We should check out the other side. Let's head back. 
To the right this time. To the right. Uh, there to are the doors right. here too. To the right. Uh, More well, doors. I guess it's just four this time. Let's open them up, starting with the closest one there. Okay, I'm on it. I'm on it. Huh, it isn't locked. I'm going to open it. I really want to just, I want to edit that in and just have myself like green screen coming in and grabbing people, dude. That, I got I to gotta make that an edit somehow. Door open, it's just me. <laughs> you are dead. And just have the red letter show up. Hey, what? It's so huge. And empty. Oh, there are beds. Is this a hospital? Is this... A bird? The harsh scent in the air is reminiscent of antiseptic solution. More doors. Where is my Rolf sound effect? I need Rolf to tell me that life has many doors. I think so. There are shelves in the center of the room with medicine and surgical tools. Hey, look there. The four doors at the end. Three, seven, eight. The left door says three. Three, seven, eight. The second door is blank, but the third has a seven. And the rightmost door is eight. What if somebody trolled and it was like, hey, bro, the exit was actually earlier. I just changed the nine to an eight. There's no doubt. They're numbered doors. Hey, why is that door between three and seven blank? Does that mean anything? No point worrying about it right now. Let's see if these will open first. Yeah. Nope. Bro, you see the dead, you see the yep, red thing locked. right there. Naturally. After all, there are rules to the nonary game. And to allow these doors to open easily would violate those rules. Unless we can authenticate ourselves with the red, the numbered doors will... Whoa, whoa, check this out. Look at the red. There's nothing on it. Huh? Don't you remember the red back at the main staircase? If there wasn't anyone in it, it said vacant on the little screen, remember? Mm. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're right. You're right. So my thing is, who would have had enough time to do this? But this one. There's nothing. Right? You think it's broken? Only one way to find out. Damn, you see how pale that nope. man's hand was? Nothing. That yeah, man's left hand was pale. Seven. And door three? I didn't think all of them would be malfunctioning. What does it mean? That's all, that's also very good. Glid, no, glid. Guild. Is it guild? Glid. I keep saying I as an L, so that's why I say glid all the time. I mean, fuck it. I'm gonna call you Nom. They've got to be broken. <laughs> that bastard. I didn't think Zero was the kind of guy who'd screw around with something like this. Whoa, whoa, Zero's been prepared for everything so far, and you're saying he's gonna make a mistake now? There are rules to this game. A blind person would not be... There's no way a blind person like Snake could have made this up. Well, that's the only thing I could think of. This thing ain't working it's at all. It's Guild without the N in it. Okay, without the U in it, all right. Hmm... It seems as if some of the internal hardware has been removed. Internal hardware? That is what I said. Take a look at the underside of this red, if you please. The bottom? Huh, there's a thin slot here. I think it's a slot for something. Uh, probably electronic. The other two reds are the same. Something's been removed from all three of them. I get it. So the reds aren't working because somebody pulled out their guts. My thing is, maybe they were already like this and only got placed in there like that a bit later. So I assume. When nobody was there, because there were cameras, if we, if we remember correctly, if I remember correctly, there were cameras in Zero's, the captain's quarters, on these doors. So the timing could have been like, all right, ain't nobody in there. All right, I'm going to go switch these right now. But why? And who? I, I mean, it really... I have no idea. Why on earth would I know something like that? Oh, what now? June! Ace! Santa! Clover! And Lotus! None of you guys killed each other. I guess everyone's here. 
What are you guys doing? Why are you... That's my line? Perhaps we should exchange information. And that's what we know. Well, this isn't good. If the red is inactive, we can't keep going. What about that big hallway? Maybe there's somewhere in there we might be able to go. No, there's nothing there. The five of us had a quick look. There are plenty more hospital rooms, but nothing else. You mean all those doors are for hospital rooms? Yes. There are a number of individual rooms in addition to this large one. There was a door at the end of the hallway, but it was locked. It had one of those solar system mark things on it. It was the Jupiter symbol. Jupiter. I wonder what it means. While we're asking what things mean, uh, what's the deal with this room? I mean, I thought this was a cruise ship, but I can't imagine a cruise ship would have a hospital like this. I mean, just in case, something happens, man. Well, I figure it's probably a hospital ship. Chances are it's the Gigantic. The Gigantic. Sister of the Titanic. The Gigantic? What is this Gigantic? The Gigantic. It's a giant tick. She was a sister ship to the Titanic. Actually, yeah, we, we know Titanic this. Had two, they intended to, the British they Navy took her over this, and made her a hospital ship. At some point during the war, the Gigantic was damaged by a German mine in the Aegean Sea. She ran aground afterwards, so what happened to her after that? One theory going around is that a man named Lord Gordain Lord bought Gordain. Her. It seemed like he'd been one of the few to survive the Titanic. That trauma Gordain. turned him into some kind of obsessed soon enough and got which was him but the Gigantic. So you're saying this is a nice Lord refresher, Bourdain I guess. This ship? Yeah, at least I. Th that's impossible. Pipe down. Just what? That's it. Proof. Proof that. The well, this ship's got stuff. Oh goodness! Don't tell me that's your own uh, no. lie. Well, uh, I don't know. Uh, I guess you're. Yeah. So at that point, Junpei actually didn't question his memory. Like what? Y'all didn't tell me that. Well. It sounds like the clock in the main stairway. 10, 11, 12. Huh, 12. It's midnight. Then we've still got six hours left, right? We gotta go find a TV and jump into it. Let's get going. What do you mean, find? We've looked everywhere in this, but we. Right. I can't skip that it only like before one. I have to mash uh, it. Uh huh. Oh, but yeah. Wait. Don't tell me you mean we need to search all of the other rooms. Well, you already checked some of them out before you... We each checked a single room, so five rooms in total. All right, then. That's five rooms we don't... <sighs> we just have to split up the rest. If each of us can do six rooms apiece, we'll have the other 48 rooms cleared in no time. There are 48 other rooms? 48? Uh, just, maybe? <sighs> 48 all right, hours. so everyone knows which area they're searching? Yeah. Yes! We'll all meet up when the clock goes off again. Ah, uh, how about in that room with all the beds? Yeah, sounds straightforward enough. I'll shout if I find any of the components we need. I hope we can find them within the time limit. If we can't, then we'll just have to come up with another plan. Right. Then let's do this. Alright, they should let me skip after this. At this point, we are in the convert... Yep. Skip, 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 skip. None of this is important. We talked to all of them before, so we just need to get to the choice that lets us go to seven, right? Because that's the only door we didn't go through. You're right. It's the, what about the other two? They're the same. Let me take a look. It's just as you said. All right, I, I just want to be sure. Yeah, your boy Snake went missing around this time. So when we all started looking for the fucking infra the electronic lock shit. Well, we can go to the casino. I think we've been here, right? How about the casino? Okay, let's go, Jumpy. I don't think it matters what I do here, right? Because hey, I. What do you think you're doing? I'm pretty sure none of this matters. This doesn't have any oh. locks behind it. So I think I could just jump straight to the next section of uh, the next door here. Isn't it obvious? I'm looking for snake. No, that's all right. Let's go, June. 
<laughs> we left. Was that okay? You don't think we should have listened to her? No, uh, I, I've got a pretty good idea what her proposal would have been. We should be looking for Snake. Huh. Well, we're... All right, back to the large hey, hospital room. Why don't we go... Sure, let's go. Santa. What are you doing? What? You can't tell? Yeah, we already talked Why? to him. We what? did. We Purpose? actually did this Why? a few episodes yeah, back. What do you? I, I think well, right when we got the well, the coffin ending. Seems like it would have to be. Maybe he got back. He, he found the parts somewhere, put them back, and then went through one of the numbered doors. No, it's not possible. You have to authenticate with at least. There's no way a single. Yeah. I, so one of us is the person. Bingo. But if that's true, then the person who did it. Yeah. But no idea. Something bad. I know. Hmm. Of course, it could have something to do with Snake's disappearance. You think I can't yeah. skip it because I loaded it. I didn't save it when I viewed this cutscene the last time we viewed it. The person and that. <laughs> Dude, he be giving us some truth bombs. So June is basically uh, kind of the most sus because Santa warned us about not hanging around people with clovers. When one of the bad endings, she's out here killing people. So, one of the things you just said about like you get a the faith, hope, love, justice bullshit turns out to be true. Kept her on the the the, the path to becoming the true justice or the, the the true ending. You needed to view the coffin ending. You needed to give her the clover, which you got from Santa. So him saying, hey, you know, you gotta, you can't, you can't trust the person right next to you, and I think that's true. Yeah, look how sad she's got. All right, so anyway, we're going through door seven. Wait a minute. Hmm? Two people get left behind if we split into five and two, and one person is left behind if we split into three, three, and one. I got that part. You can't go through the numbered doors with any less than three people. So does seven go through three with us? Or seven, seven, or not seven, but does Ace go through seven with us or eight with us? But if we split into- Just run the number. <laughs> Let's say we go through door seven. Who's left over? That would be three, seven, eight. What's the digital root for that? Three, seven, eight. Uh, so three plus seven equals 10, eight, nine. Three plus seven plus eight. Exactly. But door nine isn't here. That means three, seven, eight won't be going anywhere. That was just an example, of course. There are a lot of different combinations, but it doesn't matter which four it is. Three, go ahead and calculate it. For you. Anyway, that now if we can get back to, we only have to sacrifice one person if we. Then. All right, so we got we can skip all this, guys. So all this is, is we're skipping. We're gonna skip until we get to the choice that we need to make. Quick, 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 quick. Yeah, whatever you say, Ace. I still don't believe your bitch ass. And dude, this, this they're just there's a lot of setups for some twists to happen, bro. The whole thing with June, the whole thing. Wait, I didn't go through door eight. I, I went through three and seven. I guess I didn't go through eight. I, I, I think I'm gonna go with door eight. Okay, eight it is. Yeah. All right then. That means June's got to go through seven. What? Why? What? If the six of us are gonna keep going without leaving anyone behind, there are only three ways we can do it. Have three, five, and eight go through seven. Yes, four, yes, five, yes, four, we know numbers, threes. numbers, numbers, numbers. There are no other combinations. In other words, three and four and seven and eight can never go through the same doors. You get it now? Oh no, you're saying we aren't gonna see each other again for a long time. Yeah, uh, like a few hours, chill, relax. Hey, come on. You're making it sound like we're never gonna see each other again. We gotta split up, but only for a while. This is just like when we went into the four and five doors, remember? We got split up then too, but we all met back up. I'll bet seven and eight are just like that. You mean they're connected somewhere? Yeah, probably. Probably? Yeah, I'm sure they're gonna connect somewhere. Why? What makes you think so? 
If they don't, then neither team can get through door nine. Right. In other words, the game would end right here. Zero's been on top of his shit so far. I don't think he'd blow it now. I'm damn sure that son of a bitch wants to have his fun as long as possible. You right, Seven. He's not gonna end this game until we get through the nine door. Hmm. Everything's gonna be fine. We're gonna see each other again. I promise. No simping, Junpei. Yes. Promise? Don't simp. <sighs> or you lose you the game. Done, right? That's the bad ending. Bad ending happens when you simp. Anyway, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Clover and I will both go into separate groups. I figure I'll take seven and Clover can take eight. Any problems with that, Clover? Whatever. Whatever, bro. All right. We're ready to go then. Well, Clever, Clover comes with us uh, through eight. Let's move. Interesting. What's bogging, bro? Ready? Yeah. Okay. Then shall we go? Oh, God. Lotus, Clover, and freaking. This is a unique team. What a unique team. It's open. Okay. Hurry! Hurry, Chris! Chris! Hurry! Sheva! I need an herb! <laughs> I'm sorry, I played too much Resident Evil 5 in my life. Jumpy. What the hell are you doing? That blur, dude. 81 seconds left. Hurry! Yeah. Damn, that was free. They found that and deactivated it hella fast. Stopped. Pointless. What an unpleasant girl. I bet she's not very popular with the boys. Damn. Hmm, maybe pairing these two together was a mistake. Right? Too late now. I better catch up to them. Ah, oh, it's a dead end. All right, we're going through the middle route. There's no keys so far, but... I don't know if going through this middle route even means anything, but I feel like it does. I feel like, I don't know, just seeing everything right here is pretty cool. Going through all the puzzle rooms. This is the meat, the meat and bones of what we need to do is looking like it's gonna be after we select to go down whatever door that is right here. Cause we went through five, which we didn't go through before. This is eight. And I forget what this other door is. Oh. Is it one? No. There's a door on the left though. Laboratory. A laboratory. Huh. Mm -mm. I feel like this would be very important to go through. Oh, that doesn't sound very pleasant. I don't like the look of this place. Me either. But there aren't any other doors. It's not like we have a lot of choices. Jinpei. Huh? Please. You first. Ugh. Fine. <laughs> yeah, he didn't like that. Oh no, God! I think the window looks into another room. Oh my God! Is that door six? It looks in the door six, I think. Maybe it's for monitoring something. What the hell? Oh, never mind. <laughs> it looks so creepy. I, I look like the you look into the execution room. It's kind of like that doll is waiting for surgery. This is a laboratory, right? Ooh. Uh. It's creepy either way. I don't think that thing's gonna suddenly sit up or something, do you? Well, I don't know. I mean, look at all those cables sticking out of it. If we press the wrong button, I don't know. Oh, stop it. Just thinking about it is terrifying. Wait, where's Clover? <laughs> Clover, what's that behind your back? What's that stick? What is she? <laughs> are you okay? What are you talking about? What, what are you talking about? I'm just about? worried about you. You've been real quiet. What? I can't be quiet if I want to? Really? Well, I mean, of course you can. I, I just... Okay, then. If I can be quiet if I want, just leave me alone, okay? Damn. Come on, you know I can't do that. We gotta work together. Junpei, you just don't get it! My brother's not the kind of person who just leave me behind! Something happened to him! Something... Something bad. Yeah. What happened? Look, just don't bother me, okay? Leave me alone. Lights. Something about lights. What is it about light that makes that dude get triggered? I wonder. 
Hey, wait, Clover, hold on. That way is. He he wouldn't leave me behind because I'm. I know he's the mastermind, but he he wouldn't leave me alone. He wouldn't be, leave me behind. I told you to leave me alone. She's number two. Clover, watch out above you. What the heck? See, this is what What's happens. Going on here? This is what happens when you don't listen. Hang on, I I'll get it open. Oh, for crying out! You'll never do it on your own. Damn it! It's not moving. Oh, that groaning. Wait! Are you gonna give up just like that? Yep. No, I'm not giving up. This has got to be another one of Zero's puzzles. If it is, then there's got to be a way to open it. Just what I was thinking. Now all we got to do is find it. Lotus and I can look around out here. Clover, you're going to have to see if you can find anything in there. Oh, yes, I'm on it. Oh, we're going to have to play as Clover now? Seek a way out or leave Clover behind. Bye. All right, as you get through the, the more puzzles you get through, the more the music picks up. It's quite exciting. <laughs> and nine on the right, all have little lights, red lights on them, hmm. Well, it can't hurt to give these babies a try. I'll lock tight, all nine of them. Cardboard boxes. All right, but it's all technical and stuff I don't really get. This is a server, a server room. All right, what's by this computer? A mouse, the keyboard, the monitor. This isn't the computer, bitch. This is the monitor. <laughs> Oops, you're right. The, no power cable. This thing isn't even connected to a main computer, though. It's got a monitor, keyboard, mouse, and that, but that's it. Power cable, huh? There's a lot of stuff here. Except that, I don't use at least some of this stuff. Which one? The one on top. I think it's a power cable. Bruh, three pronged power cable. Hey. Bruh. No time to screw around. We need to figure our way out of here. The console in front of us is connected to a device in the laboratory. Okay, so I'm just looking for things that we can do. So we need a key, it looks like. It's not powered. Alright, cool. Yeah, what's that what's that Phoenix Wright a little rendition they did? Like I heard that. I can't use this. This cable has three prongs, but the socket only has two holes. We gotta find an adapter now. It's not gonna fit, is what I'm saying. In other words, we're gonna need a, need a plug to change the power cable into one with two prongs. Oh my god. We're gonna need to find an adapter. Fuck. Oh my god. Cut the other stuff out of the cable that I can't see the wires inside. Do you think you can erase it? Sure. Do you know how to erase ink from a permanent marker? I'm right back. Something over here that we need, maybe. What the hell? No dice, it's not gonna open. I don't think Zero will let us out the room that easily. Nope. Can't open it. <laughs> all right, cool. Weird color stands all over the sink. I go all over to the mannequin's head. Okay, what the hell were they doing here? Back at when this laboratory was active, that was an mannequin. <laughs> yep. 
God. How are the power cables over there? What do you mean? Does the plug have three prongs or two? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Let me go look. Guess she does have to kind of crouch down to get a good look. And it's got two of those metal things. That's it. We got to switch. I can't. I, I can unplug it, but it's connected to the main computer. I can't take it over to you. Huh? The plug? Oh, the adapter. All right, cool. All right, she's got to give us the adapter. So basically, I got to go over to the bars. Bruh, okay, two prong plug. So I probably combine that. Two prong power cable, bruh. I had to get a two prong power cable adapter, bruh. That's fucking wild. I ain't never thought I'd have to do that in a video game. <laughs> That's fucking wild. All right. Under the desk I go. Uh, I don't think this is gonna happen. What? Why not? Well, it's not connected to the main computer. You never know until you try. Wow, it is somehow. That worked. What? Updating RSF file, make DIR. Oh crap. Huh? It's running on its own? It certainly looks like it. Uh, isn't that kind of weird? Isn't that kind of sus? What? Well, it's not connected to the main computer, right? There's just this keyboard and monitor. The only cable connected to this thing is the power cable we just plugged in. So, why is it working? Maybe it's a wireless display. Uh, a wireless display? Yes, it connects to your computer wirelessly, hence the name. Have you been living in a cave, Junpei? Is that normal? Yes, at least where I worked. Oh, wirelessly, that's crazy. Oh, it stopped. Pass with a colon. Looks like we need to enter a password. Again? Uh, there must be a hint around here somewhere. That fucking thing in there that we need to erase. Could you go take a look? Yeah, I'm on it. What are you going to do? I'll see if I can do something about this on my own. On your own? Yep, on my own. Lotus? Lotus being productive? Man, that's new. All right. Wow. Let's kick some ass. Bruh. Uh. <laughs> wait, what? Yeah, that reaction looks hilarious. Didn't get... expect that, did you? Nope. Of course I didn't. You're typing so fast, I, I can't even see your fingers. What kind of job do you have? What are you? Fan service. I'm unemployed at the moment. Unemployed? I used to work for a cybersecurity firm. But, uh, oh, so you a hacker. I quit. I quit because, you know, fuck it. Why? Huh? Oh. Um. It was just... something. Sure, something, all right. I see. Hmm. Oh, uh, what are you doing now? I'm going to try and brute force it. No. Don't even think about it, kitty. Brute what? A brute force attack is... Well, the short version is that I just attacked the thing head-on. A brute force attack is one of the simplest ways to break a cipher. It checks every possible combination until it finds the right one. For a complex cipher, it can take a very long time. A cipher? Hey, she about to spit some bars. I'm writing a program that would run an attack like that on its own. It's not the most elegant solution, certainly. But given the circumstances, there isn't much else I can do. Oh, but back to what we were talking about earlier. What were we talking about? The wireless display? It's kind of strange if you think about it, isn't it? Hmm. <laughs> How do I put it? Well, let's say you write a program that calculates an addition problem for you, all right? Okay. So you enter one, one plus, plus one. one, all right. The screen will show you two. See? Isn't that strange? Uh, no, not really. Oh, come on now. Of course a caveman like you would think it was strange. You said so just a minute ago. Bruh, you just said I was a caveman. I'm not a Neanderthal, you know. <laughs> You're just not getting it, are you? Who calculated one plus one? The, uh, the, the main computer, right? You said it connected to the monitor wirelessly. Yeah, but someone who grew up in a cave wouldn't know that, right? Bruh. They'd probably think that this thing here, the monitor, is doing the calculating. Yeah, and true. Once they've decided that, they'll start examining this monitor. Okay. They might poke the screen or something. Yeah. Ah, I see the color changes when I press it here. 
Then they might investigate the hardware on the inside. Oh, I see. So this wire supplies the power. Eventually, they might even cut the wires. Ah, yes. Just as I expected. When this wire is cut, no results appear. Therefore, it must be this device which does the calculations. Oh. But the truth is that, just like you said, the computer is doing the calculating. But these cave people wouldn't know that, because they have no idea that the monitor and the computer are connected wirelessly. So, uh, what are you trying to say? Nothing, really. <laughs> it's just, I thought, maybe. What if the relationship between human beings and our brains is like that? Oh, God. Huh? Oh, no, don't do this right now. Well, let's say you stick a bunch of electrodes into parts of the brain. A scientist examining the signals they send out might say, hmm, interesting. So stimulating this part of the brain causes the person to see colors. That must mean this neuron cluster controls that function. Okay, let's see what happens when I cut out this part. Ah, just what I thought. Cutting off this part causes that function to cease. Therefore, human thought processes must occur in the human brain. See? Doesn't it sound yeah, the same? Yeah, oh my god, don't know. I can't know. Stop trying to get me to think about questioning everything that I once knew. Mm, yeah. <laughs> my brain can't do this. Clover already did this on the other route. I don't need it to happen again here. Maybe the brain is just an output device. Like, like this, this monitor. monitor, bro. So what you're trying to say, what you're trying to say is I'm getting all my information from the cloud. From from the main server. Maybe our thought processes actually occur somewhere else, in a main body. See, I'm not gonna say I, I, I thought like this, but I used to I used to have some wild thoughts like this, man. We just don't know it. We never even think about it. See, that's what I'm saying. There's things we don't know that we things that we think we don't know that we know and things that we know that we don't know <laughs> there's got to be more to it bro just like those cave people wouldn't know about wireless communications just, just like just like people don't know that the fact that uh we leave we live conveniently far enough away from the sun to live comfortable we can't imagine <laughs> that there's some unknown medium that transfers information into our brains where we experience that information bro 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 this is what kind of whack job wrote this um, <laughs> the brain is just an output device. Human thought actually occurs somewhere else. Bro, if I if 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 the twist is none of these people are really here, and this is a virtual reality, I'm gonna be mad. <laughs> that's just crazy talk. Nah, I'm, I'm not even gonna go there. Maybe that's the cause of Seven's amnesia. If memory is actually stored somewhere else, in some sort of main body somewhere. Maybe he hasn't forgotten anything at all. He's just having a difficult time accessing his memories because the monitor, his brain, has been damaged. Huh. I suppose that would explain aphasia and blindsight, too. Perhaps they actually can't speak or see. Hmm. The monitor just isn't functioning properly. Just like what you're trying to say is two can see. Hmm. With prosopagnosia, could be suffering from the same thing. Prosopagnosia. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Prosopagnosia. What? Yeah, right. What? You've never heard of prosopagnosia? No. No. Oh, what is it? <laughs> well, put simply, it means a condition where the mind can't distinguish between human faces. In other words, my face would look the same as Clover's or even yours. Oh wow! I didn't know that was an actual condition people had. But I always thought, like, it's funny because I was talking about this during our Persona 5 playthrough, our Persona 5 Royal playthrough about cognition and about how if I could see hot dogs and somebody else saw hot dogs as hamburgers and every time I sat, and every time I said hot dogs, they actually heard the word hamburgers. But the thing is, they would say it themselves as you know, hot dogs to me, but they're actually thinking hamburgers. Because I actually had that thought process as a kid when my teacher told me when you put your fingers super close together, it kind of looks like a, a, a hamburger. And I'm like, it looks like a hot dog to me, actually. And I started thinking about that. And I'm like, hold up. Maybe this, maybe, maybe people 
I don't know, cognition, people can't this people will see something one way while it will look different another way to somebody else. Like for instance, I see everything in 3D. But for instance, my 3D could be 2D. I could be literally seeing in an anime and somebody else will be like, bro, what are you talking about? I see in 3D when they could technically be looking at like, you know, they, they could be looking in 2D, but be saying they looking in 3D. Like everything looks 3D to them, but technically 3D is 2D. Like, you ever thought about, <laughs> oh my God, my brain, I'm gonna stop. Cause I don't, I don't want to continue this anymore. So they can't remember faces. <laughs> which is how most people recognize each other. That means that people with prosopagnosia have trouble recognizing even people they're close to. Usually they can make do by associating people with other things. The voices, their voices, voices, their clothes, yeah. their hair. I was going to say, probably voices, because that's usually what distinguishes most people for me is voices. Does that mean other people's faces look like blanks? No. No, I don't think so. There's a little bit of that, there's a little bit of that in everybody, actually. Well, you've seen monkeys, like in a zoo, right? Monkeys in a zoo? To you and me, all the monkey faces look the same. Even though they've obviously got faces. It's almost yeah. impossible for a human to distinguish between Go ahead and say what you really want to say, Lotus. Go ahead and say black people all look alike. Go ahead and say it. That's what you really want to say. All Asian people, all white people, all black people look alike. Go ahead and say it. The zoo staff that works with them would learn to identify That's why they said them. monkeys. And but you or I couldn't, unless one had a scar or something else to set it apart. <laughs> well, that's how people would be to someone with prosopagnosia. 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 I didn't even know that kind of thing existed. It all links together, baby. And I'm telling you, all these things, these, these, these freaking, the force fields, the force fields, the unseen forces we, we can't see. The, the damn paradox theories, all this stuff we're hearing about is just randomly just taught to us. Random moment from this Japanese writer, you know, just teaching us all this swag stuff. Yo, Scarlet Flair with the five gifted subs to the community. Yo, thank you very much, Scarlet Flair. Scarlet Flair said, please, if, you, if I just give five subs, would you please stop with all this nonsense? <laughs> First of all, apparently, all the subs are showing up like not on screen, and I apologize. We'll do something like this. How about that? I think that's more fair. Here we go. Damn, she's still typing as we just talk to the Twitch chat. And um, uh, what were we talking about? We were talking about something else. The idea that your brain is just an output device, like a monitor. Are you serious about that stuff? Not really. I was just kidding for about half of it. I don't know. What about the other half? Well, I guess I was just adulting. Mm hmm. Hmm. <sighs> Not funny. <laughs> it's nothing more than a story I made up out of boredom. All right. Seriously. Whatever. You've been saying don't take it seriously for a minute, but I don't know. It was the first thing that came to mind, and I just talked about it to kill time. I'm getting tired of this. Hey, don't take it seriously. It was it was a joke. I kid. I kid. But looks like I don't need to talk anymore. Or type, for that matter. Why? I don't have to kill time any longer. Oh, then you finished that brute whatever thing? Brute force. Yes, certainly did. And let's see what we got. <laughs> Piece of cake. Piece of cake, huh? The screen changed again. What the hell is that? Is that the evil symbol? <laughs> Bro, is that the evil? No idea. Looks like a puzzle. Huh? Uh, aren't you gonna, I don't know, do more computer stuff? No, I can't do anymore. It won't let me do any more programming. See? The keyboard. Nothing. So, there's nothing more I can do. Bro, so if we actually didn't have Lotus here, we wouldn't have been able to do half of this shit. We literally could not move forward. Um... Well, I guess I'll leave this to you then, Junpei. What? Let me take a break, all right? Like you like the smartest person here and you lazy as fuck. I don't know how you can be the the smartest, laziest person. Like I guess technically I, I guess one of my favorite characters uh, Sh uh Shikamaru. I did my part. Yeah, uh, well, I guess you're right. Thanks, Lotus. No problem. Make sure you know when you should thank people.
Now, I better take care of this myself. No more relying on anyone else. Wow, that was free. <laughs> did, you, did I just hear a noise just now? Yeah, it sounded like something unlocking. Where did it come from? Bro, first try. Like, I hit three buttons, bro. That was the freest puzzle ever. Alright, where do we hit that from? Maybe this door? The bars. What's this all about? And also, I'm sorry I messed up. Hey, we can talk about this when we get you out, okay? Just hang on, Clover. We're gonna get you out of there right away. I think this is the first time I actually seen a genuine smile out of this chick. I'm sorry I messed up. All right, Maya. Oh, wait, all this shit unlocked. Yes, we gotta erase that shit. Ethanol, that is gonna help us erase the shit down over there. Anything else open up over here? Keys? Bro, get the fucking keys! What are you doing? Alright. Yeah, we need that to activate the other key then. Hey, Junpei, do you have a minute? I sure do. What's up? I, um, I wanted to ask you something. Hmm? Junpei, you went into door five with my brother, right? Oh, interesting. All right. We're going to want to save. So if I went through the other door and then went through this door, I don't think this would have happened, right? Did you hear him say, like, anything weird? Oh, this is sus. Huh? Well, let me think. Sorry, Clover. I can't really think of anything. Oh, no. Did I? I must have missed it. There's probably a key here. So I'm pretty sure once we go through the ending, we're supposed to get a number. We got to go through that five door again. And once we go through that five door, we open that fucking lock and we come back here. We say something to Clover and we open up with something else. I think I'm pretty sure. I mean, he did mention that his hearing exceeds, exceeds that, that of a regular, regular person. person or something like that. But that's about it. OK. Uh, hey, uh, wait a minute. Hmm? Look, I, I don't know if I should ask you things but if you don't mind uh, i was hoping you could tell me if uh is snake uh i mean was he born you're talking about his eyes yeah no he wasn't born blind when he was a kid he got in an accident like daredevil a really bad car accident he couldn't see after that and his arm his arm yeah my brother's left arm is, um, it's not like a normal person's arm. It's fake. It's not a real arm. Yeah, because we could tell from how pale that fucking arm was. The accident hurt him really bad. To save him, they, they had to cut off his arm. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> uh... Is that all you wanted to ask me? Look, I'm, I, I'm sorry for making you talk about all that painful stuff. Duke could literally take off his arm and have his fucking, his bracelet be anywhere. It's not that. All right, so we knew that his arm was straight from the other ending. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. Please don't look at me like that. You're scaring me. So we gotta find something else for her to wipe it with? No. So we actually have to have her wipe it.
some kind of grid. <laughs> Go back over here. I've seen something like this before. A grid with nine cells with four numbers. New material has been added to the file screen. All right, the note clover copy with the stand in the laboratory has uh, four numbers written in nine separate cells, of course, nine. Oh, this is something we learned in Persona 5, actually, right? We have to figure out the numbers that equal up a certain, a, a certain way, right? So, 3, 4, 1. Shit. So, basically, we got to find the missing numbers here. So, 3, 4, and 1. What does that equal? That equals 8. Will we all have to just get them to add up to be eight? Or is that? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's. That could be. That could be tripping. Three something two. I could be just making it difficult. I just probably need to find the missing numbers, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four. Why is four in the middle? God damn it! I thought I saw a I thought I saw a pattern. Okay, let's back out really quick. Wait, I wonder if that's what I need. I think I think that clue was supposed to help me complete that puzzle. That'd be hilarious. But never mind. I think I think that's what that clue was for. <laughs> no, I don't know. That'd be fucking hilarious. And it's full of letters. Power restore to experimental device. Emergency system will activate in the event of abnormal subject behavior. Okay. And doing a squat. All right, so that fucking doll should be active now, or something. This is the thing is in here is on now. All right. I don't think it's working. Nothing's happened. Yeah, we gotta look around. Why is she all quiet now? They were doing experiments on humans, probably. Oh man, now she looks sad. Yeah, we already know that she knows about experiments and stuff. There's nothing here. Okay, there's something in here that I have to look. This is interesting, I suppose. Don't need to use the computer anymore. Got that activated and shit. Mm, all right, so I guess the solution is looking at this. There's something over here. Wait, Clover! Oh shit! Um, I think, uh... Damn, we just fried that man. Damn! Damn! Oh my god! The mannequin's head! Oh, that sounds like a fire alarm. What the hell? Fire detected. Fire detected. Emergency system will be activated. Evacuate the room immediately. Oh god. 
<laughs> okay, it looks kind of funny, but this is no laughing matter. If I don't do something, Clover will. It's so hot in here. Help me! Oh my god, dude. My fault, is it? Oh god. Fuck, can we do anything on this side? Fuck. All right. We need to save Clover now. Fuck. Dude, what the fuck? I, I don't know what I can do. Literally, whoa, what the fuck? Hey, the screen is all red. Malfunction has been detected. Experiment discontinued. Come on, you smart ass. Whatever that means. All right. Bro, can we do this? Cut the cut the tables or something shit, man. Fuck, I can't do anything right there. Now we can say clover. All right, cool. Bro, all right, cool. Uh, we had to cause an emergency just to get her out of there. Bruh, of course I'm not all right. What the hell took you so long, you big jerk? I was almost dead. Yo, chill. You <laughs> you ain't, though, right? <laughs> you two can do this later. Right now, we need to get the hell out of here. All right, first of all, was there any... Man, we go, we'll know if there's any keys I missed. A body has been discovered. Whew, thank God we got out of there. No keys. All right. Oh. Boo. Yeah, finally. I guess you have to complete a route before... I guess you have to find a lock before you see any more keys, right? Oh, yeah. <sighs> oh, my God. All right. Let's go. Okay. I think the lock, I think you have to complete the route before because I, I, I don't remember seeing any of those keys until I actually beat one of the endings. So you see that route where there was a uh, ending involved, uh, a split ending? That's where they started revealing the keys, I believe. So we'll find out more later. All right, looks like we need, oh yeah, we're going to be skipping a lot here. All right, cool. Damn, none of these open. They're all locked. How about that one? How about that? Let's hope this is the door with the prize. Jumpy! Huh? Jumpy! June? Santa! Seven! Hey, what are you guys doing here? What are you doing here? What? But we didn't... Hey, guys! Could you come take a look at this? Hey, on the wall... A map of the ship's interior? It says Sea Deck. C -deck. So it's the map for this floor if then? If you rep in Sea Deck, let me see them Sea Deck. Let me see hashtag Sea Deck in your in, in, in the comments below in the chat. If you rep in B Deck, hashtag B Deck. If you rep in A Deck, get out my chat. Door seven and Door eight. Yep. They both eventually. Yep. We saw this before. Yeah. We aren't going to be split up permanently till we find door nine. Seven was right. We might get separated for a little while, but we'll see each other again. So we get to meet back up, back at the Otherwise, hospital room. We'll be, that's how the notary game works. Wait a sec. Oh. You've got to be kidding me. We may as well go. Yeah. Oh, I almost forgot. We should keep this. Ready? I'm gonna open it. I knew it. We're back. Guess who's back? In the hospital room. Ba -da -ba -ba. The whole squad is. Ice. There we go. So, the key? this is where we were before. Uh oh, the key. Ain't that what I just said? I'm talking about the Jupiter key. We found it in the operating room. Oh, that's right. Here. Whoa. <laughs> nice catch. Jeez. 
I see. So this is Jupiter. I'm gonna let you hold on to that, all right? This is, apparently this dialogue is new, but I could have sworn we, we saw this yeah. already. Well, I've got something for you too then. Here, it's the Saturn key car. I might lose it. It's probably better if you hold on to it. Yeah, so how many unused? There's the Earth key we found in the Jupiter key you just gave me. And the Saturn key card from Lotus. I don't think we use the e uh, the Earth I'll key. Keep them safe. The Jupiter key is supposed to be for the door at the end of that long straight hallway, right? All right. Boo boo boo. Beep beep beep. And this is where we discover Seven's body. Seven's body. <laughs> you know, that's a good question. I can't believe this. You guys followed me here, but you don't even know why. <laughs> Jinpei, you've got the solar system keys, don't you? Yeah. The Saturn key. And the Earth key. What the about Earth it? Earth key. Don't you remember the elevator? Did I say Seven's body? I mean, Snake's body. On seat. My bad. I think that's the one area we didn't go through, right? Yeah, I mean, obviously it's the one area. And I think I have to stay on this route until I finish it. Hold on, we're gonna. This is the first time we've ever actually. Because I wanted to say it before, but I thought it would be awkward. But now we're gonna play it. Well, um, we will be all alone in here. <laughs> Jumpy? Huh? Oh, uh, nothing. It's not important. Come on, let's go. I said, wait a minute. Why? Aren't you afraid, Jumpy? Afraid of what? Well. I've never, you know. It's your first time? On an elevator? I might get wet. Uh, oh, what? <laughs> what? Down there. I get soaking wet. Uh... Well, I, I mean, of course you would. That's the way it works. <laughs> That's the way it works. <laughs> I mean, I've never heard of anyone getting soaking wet uh, somewhere else. That's... That's true. What? Uh, wop? <laughs> wop? Hashtag wop? Is this episode gonna be called wop? You don't mind? Wet ass floor plans? <laughs> mind what? Getting wet. Well, uh, I don't know. I think I'd probably, um, you know, like it. <laughs> 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 Where are we going? Gosh, Jumpy, you're so brave. Where is this going? Really? I mean, I kind of think any guy would do the same thing, you know? What happens, happens, right? I mean, if you get the chance, you've just got to go for it. I, that's what a man is supposed to do, I guess. <laughs> you're so cool, Jumpy. <laughs> I really admire you. Uh, that doesn't really seem like the sort of thing you ought to admire someone for. <laughs> uh, I'm really scared. Yeah, I mean, like you said, you've never done it before. Yes, so I don't think I'll be able to last very long. And then it'll be over. Oh my god, bro. Uh, over? Yes, I'll go to heaven. Heaven? Heaven? It feels kind of like you're floating in space and your mind gets all fuzzy like when you pass out. At least that's what I've heard from people who have experienced it. Ah, uh, yes, I've I've heard that too. Bruh. Although I, I don't think the same thing happens to guys. <laughs> what? Huh? Huh? <laughs> it would happen to men too, wouldn't it? It would happen to anyone. Once it gets into your body, the same thing happens to everyone. Well, I, I mean, um, usually it, it, it doesn't go inside the man. Uh, I mean, generally. Yes, it does. Well, eventually it will. It's not like you really have a choice. 
Your body will force you to swallow some of it. <laughs> Eventually. What are you trying to do to me? <laughs> Nothing. I'm not going to do anything to you. I'm just saying that that's what happens. It's a psychological reaction to what you're experiencing. <laughs> hey, oh! <laughs> oh, is that so? I know most men probably have larger lungs, but even then, I don't think you could hold your breath for 20 or, or even 10 minutes. Bro, we talk about drowning, right? Eventually, you'd have to breathe, and then the water would get into your lungs. Bro, this entire five-minute conversation off of one dialogue tries to see a funny-ass event. Once that happens, your body won't be able to get oxygen anymore, and you'll start to feel that floaty feeling as you pass out. Uh. Huh. Oh. <laughs> Bro, he's dead. He is dead. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You wouldn't last very long. <laughs> Come to think of it, yeah, the I love lower it. floor. I love how you transition underwater. An elevator heading to. Dude, that was good. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Now he gets it. He played it. Yeah, you wouldn't last very long. <laughs> well, I'd probably get really wet. There. Huh? <laughs> what do you say? Well, we'd probably get really right up there. <laughs> At any rate, we should probably go back as soon as we can. Once we're done looking around down here, Lotus and Santa might already. Be That's funny. That was added dialogue.